Well, here's another even more complex type situation. This is a patient that we're, we're putting a bifurcated excluder in the right common iliac because there's a big aneurysm there. Now, let me just stop that for a minute because I want, you know, just like diagnostic catheters, you can have issues um, of when you're, when you're pushing forward of it, uh, of losing purchase. And so what we did in this situation, what you're looking at is the diagnostic is heading up against the wall of the endograft and it's backing out the sheath. Just exactly the same as you would see uh, when you're doing this manually. So what we do is retract the entire system, take some of this curvature out of the sheath at the same time, and let the whole thing sit back on top of that bifurcation. And we've made this very challenging for ourselves because this is the endograft is sitting proud of the bifurcation. So you've got to come up out of the origin of the left common and start working up and over the top of the of the endograft and then catheterize, you know, that little limb that's down there. Now that's fairly challenging to do under any circumstances, uh, but you'll see we can actually do it reasonably easily. We still had kind of one false pass there. Here we're pulling everything back into position, uh, and then we're going to bump forward. So, so with these little buttons, you can actually bump this forward. If it looks like it's pulling the diagnostic back out of there, you can put a little bit more bend in it, and then you can just gradually advance and up and over uh, the bifurcation. And you can see that um, what we're, at this point in time, we're over the bifurcation. We're going to catheterize the origin um, of the internal iliac artery. Now, this giant device that you see in the background here, our nursing staff and our anesthesia staff are always very uh, apt at, at marking off what we actually need to catheterize because there's always something on the patient that is exactly uh, where we want to be working. And I'm sure you probably all have kind of that experience. So, so this has got nothing to do with the procedure. This is a, is a, a device that is on the patient. That happens to show that we really need to go right through that uh, contralateral limb and catheterize the gate. So always good to get a little help from, from our anesthesia colleagues when, when we're doing things like this. <clears throat> and here you can see the sheath up and over the uh, bifurcation and we can advance this down through that gate and you can see this is not going to be easy because there's an aneurysm, there's a tight stenosis. I'm sure a lot of you are going, oh my gosh, they're going to put two devices through that stenosis. Yes, we actually did and believe it or not, worked fairly well. But but trying to get through this and then catheterize with not a lot of working room, you know, is not the easiest catheterization, you know, in the world. Uh, with the robot, we can actually do that uh, fairly easily. Okay, and that's good. That's what it looks like once we got it catheterized. We then actually put a, you know, I believe it was a Viabon that we put in here, um, and we sandwich these up. You can see the Viabon here. Uh, we're going to put a seven second uh, device into this, and this, you know, allowed us to preserve the um, inter internal iliac on that particular patient. So we're always using this combination of 3D imaging, uh, robotic navigation, and delivery system.